Hello everybody, happy Monday. Um, we're playing with Sailing Home. So you may have already seen this card on my blog. Uh, I think I, and I did put it on Facebook and Instagram, but if you missed it, we're gonna make it together. And then I'm gonna give you a little special cause woo woo, it's Monday. And the only thing that makes Mondays better is the special. Okay, so this is a super weird time of day for me to be on. So I don't know if anyone else will even come on, but we're gonna use the Sailing Home stamp set and then we are going to use the Smooth Sailing dies. Okay, peeps, we got it. So what we're gonna start with, <clears throat> is I have got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Now this one we're gonna use and we're gonna kind of play with it, um, like get all the bits ready and then we'll do our die cutting, okay? Does that make sense? Good, so it would help if we had blocks. So let me grab those. Ta -da. Okay, <clears throat> so first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one. I don't know, the sentiment on this one was super pretty. Hi, guy. I don't know who said hi. It's scrolling too fast. Hi, Mom. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Joe. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Laurel. Oh, yay. It's fun. There's lots of you on. Okay, so this one says, let hope be your anchor. Okay, peeps. Hi, Donna. So we're going to take that one, and I'm going to, I pulled my ink pads before I started. So those are the three colors I'm going to use on this one. So I'm going to use Night of Navy, and I'm going to use Mossy Meadow, and I am going to use Soft Suede, okay? So we're going to start with a little bit of Night of Navy. Hi, Angie. Hi, Carol. And we're going to ink this guy up. Doot, 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 doot. Make sure he's got good coverage. And then we are going to simply ta -da, stamp it. Beautiful. Okay, now, if you don't have a chamois, um, what rock have you been under? You need a chamois. Okay, get that guy all pretty and clean. Now, do you want to dare me to do something? Watch this. Oh, not bad. Look at that. One tiny little smudge right there on the edge. That's pretty good for uh, something that's been, this has been kicking for a while now. Hi, care. Okay, let's take this one off. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab Mossy Meadow. And this time we're going to grab the compass and I remembered what it was called. So that's far less embarrassing than me pulling off, you know, trying to guess at things. Oh, who's hi. Oh, look at this. Hi, Mark. Oh, I was going to say hi, Marcus. Hi, Martha. <laughs> okay. You ready? Next one. Do, do. Ink him up. Make sure you got good coverage. Ta -da. Come up here and we'll stamp him. So pretty. Okay, next. Now I'm trying to decide whether I wanna pop up my, oh, thank you for sharing, Angie. Oh, your friends are watching in Australia. Thank you. Hi, Sandy. Thank you, hon. Okay, so we got that one. Okay, and I have green ink on my finger, so when I get it somewhere, like I just did there, you can just laugh because we already knew it was gonna happen. Okay, next thing we're gonna grab. So we're grabbing our anchor, and this one is going on in soft suede. Da, da. Okay, so peeps, we're on that bonus day sale and it's ending in like three days. So right now, um, for every 60 you purchase in Canada, you get a $6 off coupon that you can redeem in, what's the next month that follows July? Oh yeah, it's August, uh -huh. Donna Gray. Um, so that's huge. You don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna send me an order on August 1st and me to say, you monkey, you could have had coupons that you could have used had we just done this a day earlier. So please make sure if you've got, whether, and it could be anything, like if you've got snail and envelopes and that kind of stuff on your list right now, then get them. And then you can use that coupon in August for some more fun stuff. I am making a mess. Look at my hands today. Okay, so we're going to come in. We're going to do this guy. Now, this one, I, I could do some more die cutting. Can I? Should I? Maybe we should. I feel like my, we might need to. Okay, we'll come up here. And I'm going to put this guy on there. Okay, you ready? Should we die cut some stuff? Are you at the cabin or lake? Cause, yeah, I'm at the cabin. We call it the cabin. Yes. I'm at the lake in the cabin. Does that make sense? Yes, I am. Happy place. I just got my lawn mowed. Hubby's on his way back from Vancouver. Life is a happy place. Okay, my dears. So now we are going to jump in and we are going to use the die cut machine. Back to school? What? Are you kidding me, Laurel? Oh no, Jacqueline, this is not simple stamping. I wish. Well, I mean, I guess it's not complicated, but it's not like simple, simple. Um, I don't go back till after Labor Day, Laurel, but you got out before I did, I think. 
I go back, I think it's like September 4th or whatever the Tuesday is after the Labor Day weekend. Okay, so next thing I'm doing is I am taking, this is just one of our stitched shape squares. I always have to be very careful to enunciate when I say that word because it can come out not pretty. And then I'm also going to throw on, now this one is from the coordinating dies that go with the stamp set, okay? So we're just going to get that placed. Now, I know I could be easier and I could do it with a magnet, but I can also just be Ange and be super lazy and say, hey, whatever, I'd have to go in the drawer then. August 26th, okay. With your scissors, oh no, 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 look. I got those back, Donna, on his last trip. I know it's so crazy, you're like, what do you mean his last trip? He's a firefighter, so he basically does four days here, then drives four hours, and then does four days in Vancouver. Oh, okay, so this is why you would get out your magnetic platform. See, that was just to spite me because I thought I'd get cocky. Um, four days here and then four days there, kind of all summer. So that's, he's bouncing back and forth like a yo-yo. Okay, so just a sec, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna have to restamp that one. And it only happened because I got cocky. I was like, look what I can do. <laughs> I can't, by the way. Did you notice that? Here's your magnetic platform, people. These ones are not as finicky because I'm not lining them up, right? Like they're just kind of going, you can see, I'm just trying to get squares of that same shape. Your husband starts back to school on the 13th. Ugh, ow, that just hurts. I think my kids would cry if I told them they were going back to school on August 13th. You're not, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> All of a sudden, the 14-year-old who often doesn't hear you is like, what? We're going back to school on August the 13th? No, sunshine, you are not. Okay. So, I'm going to pop that one out. Now, this is good because there was something else I wanted to do, but I didn't do it on my original card. Put it in your Stamparatus and redo it. Okay, so Jacqueline, I totally get that. I could absolutely redo it on the back, but get this. I have full-blown issues over the way the stitching looks on the back versus the front, and I can't use them on the back. I know, I'm wasteful. I'm going to paper recycling hell. Okay, just a sec. So we're going to do this, but we're also going to do the boat one more time because I want to try popping the boat up on this one. We'll see. We're going to change it. Hi, Steph. Okay, ready? So let's take this back. And I am going to get out my magnetic platform because I have to reach down about, I don't know, three centimeters to grab it. That's how lazy I am. Okay, and then we're going to do the blue ship as well. Da, da. There we go. Okay, so we have got that finished. Now, we're gonna grab the magnet. I agree about the stitching on the back. Okay, see? Somebody else has the same issues. I doesn't, it just, it doesn't feel right to me. I can always tell. Oh my God, that was the back. Okay, let's get the magnet. And then let's get, we need dies. I wasn't planning on die cutting that one, but now we're going to. Okay, so what dies do I need? Oh, I need this. Did anyone see what I did with the last die? Oh, there it is. I totally understand the stitching on the back. I know. Oh, it starts this. Th okay, but they had to have gotten out way earlier. Luckily, one of the few things I don't have issues about. Oh, okay. So, but wh what do you mean? How can they be going back that early? Like, when did the kids get out? I need to move this. I'm going to give it a wiggle. That just sounds crazy early. Okay, we're going to run them through one at a time because I really don't want to mess this um, uh, no, you were okay, love. Yes, tortilla chips video. Sorry, my husband is at Costco about 45 minutes away from me on his way here. And so he's checking with my oldest child about uh, what we need. Okay, just a sec. Okay, we're gonna put that one on. Get it set. There we go. Do, do. Okay, so this isn't a bad time of day. There's quite a few of you on. I hope I didn't bump that. Did anyone notice? Did I bump it as I went over? I probably did, knowing me. Here we go. Did we get it? Haha, -ha, we got it. Okay, let's move all my junk because I'm making a major mess. Okay, so what do we got? We have got our public schools get out before Memorial Day. Okay, I don't know. When, what's Memorial? I'm Canadian. When's Memorial Day? We have year-round school here. <gasps> Debbie, blasphemy say that sorry you know what i've heard year-round schooling is awesome and i heard it's actually easier on everyone because i know that my kids after the summer they regress they fully do after kind of not being in that mode for so long but then i also worry about like i'm like i am burnt out by the time we hit june i need my snail 
I don't need dimensionals. Um, I'm burnt out by the time we hit the end of June, but then I wonder, would you be less burnt out with different breaks? Hello, Tanya, how are you? Last Monday in May, okay, wow, well, so they're really early. Yeah, I had a full other month. We got out June 29th. Okay, so we are even changing up a little bit on the DSP, and we are changing up a little bit on the twine. So I've got Whisper White Card Base, Knight of Navy Cardstock here, and it's four by five and a quarter. You're liking this time it's 9 p.m. Yes, for sure. Like I get two weeks at Christmas and I get two weeks at spring break. I'm gonna put this on here because my counter is black and it's hard to see. Oh, the DSP is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, there you go. And then this little strippy to be here, you guys, it is uh, one and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna take that. We're going to loop that one on there make sure it's straight because it will really catch your eye if it's not because of the up and down stripes how do I have blue ink on my thumb okay let's put the blue ink that's on my thumb under there just in case so that I don't stick it on something else okay so the next thing we're gonna do hello Bobby oh six weeks off at Christmas ah interesting yes but your Christmas that's your summer weather right that would make sense okay so I think what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna go uh, boat anchor and so this is why I do that one and three quarter inch strip because it matches up with these guys then and you kind of get that nice mat Oop, that worked okay so do I pop them up what do I do this is getting popped up oh I forgot to do something this I feel like we're gonna pop up the boat oh I know what I have to do still here something shiny on that stamp set okay I call these from when to when during Christmas oh Thank you, Annette. Uh, Christmas, we only get from like whatever the Friday is right before Christmas holidays to like the Monday after um, the first. Okay, I call these accident fixers. Okay, you like that? So we've got these cute little birds. I call them accident fixers because when you stick your finger in ink and then you stick them on the card, those are phenomenal because you can stick a little bird over a random smudge that your hand has done. Why am I doing that? I'm sticking this behind just so I don't get it on my table. Okay, so I'm inking up those cute little birds, and then we're gonna go like this. Ta -da, and then we'll ink up the last bird, and we'll take him over here. Okay, so now we've got some cute little birds on there. But as I said, those are great accident fixers. So when you, you're done. I need to move to Australia during the winter months. That's right. I gotta remember my seasons. Okay. So next thing we are going to do, peeps. Oh, I forgot to die cut something. Okay, so have you guys looked at this die set? If you hadn't, guess what you're gonna do right now? You're gonna look at the die set. Children, you have to answer that phone because your mother is not. Okay, so what have we got? So these are the smooth sailing dies. So we have got these framelits, okay? So we've got the little, you know, that thing, the steering wheel. We've got the lighthouse, you've got a big boat, you've got the anchor, you've got a super cute little knot. You've got this rope die that does great, like kind of, you know, you can do border pieces with it. And then we had the small boat and then we've got that kind of label die and then we've got the seaweed-ish piece. Okay, so we need a little bit of seaweed. Hang on, I'm getting paper. Don't run away. My scrap bags are a little bit less organized at the lake. They're kind of just thrown in by color family. Do you ever wonder how that happened? How did I get one green circle or one green heart die cut right in the middle of a piece of paper? Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this over so I don't schloop it, move. And we're gonna put this guy back in. We've got the magnetic platform now, so we are all set to go. <laughs> okay, throw that one in. Ta -da. Put that guy there, crank it. Use your muscles, pull him up. Isn't that funny? I have uh, this big shot at the lake. If I were to have used my regular platform and not my um, magnetic one, he would have cut absolutely perfectly. But the way that this big shot is kind of done, it, well, it's old. And so he's not quite as tight. So you gotta, I gotta get my bits out. Hello, Chandra Junk. Ish pieces. I, well, everything's ish. Okay, let's pull this. Okay, so what have we got here? Is that a die cut riddle? Well, it could be. You know me. Okay, so 
What am I looking at? Oh, I know. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. This all works. We need these. Check them out. Sail away trinkets. How cute are those? We've got super cute little anchors and then the wheels too. Hi, James. Now, even better than the card that I did and posted, I could not find this. I was I had emailed my husband to say, can you bring me out my roll from my thing? But then I, uh, from my thing at home, but then I found it. I'm vacationing in your neck of the woods. Where are you, Bobby? Um, anyway, so this one I found. This is the coordinating twine that goes with this designer series paper and the stamp set like it kind of blends right in perfectly with everything okay so let's assemble this you ready here we go so we've already glued that on so now we're going to take these guys and I found the best way to do these was to take this okay now if you look at your up and down and you can see how much blue you have showing above and below that gives you an indicator of how much you want to leave on the side does that make sense okay so now again we're going to do this and we're gonna take it and we're gonna go, okay, how much is up on top and below? And then we're gonna make the end match it in terms of thickness. Okay, last one. Oops, don't glue your desk because that's not helpful. And then we're gonna stick this guy right smack in the middle. Okay, now the next one we're gonna do, um, I'll grab my silicone knot to head them up. If I were a silicone knot, where would I be? Buckley Road at an Airbnb. Are you like, you're on shoe swap, dude? Come say hi to me. Okay, then you're here. So we're gonna now go like this. And we're just gonna give it a little bit on here. And I'm gonna take this little piece of like seaweed and I'm gonna line that bottom up. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. Come there. So, duh. And I'm gonna let him cover over the anchor. Now I didn't glue the top down. I kind of left that was loose. If I was in her neck of the woods, I'd be stalking. <laughs> Oh my God, you're awesome. Um, Bobby gets, Bobby's come to my retreat before. I hope you guys are coming again. They're my party girls. I love having them here. They make me happy. Okay, ready? Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take that gorgeous twine and I feel like it looked naked when I wrapped it once. So we're gonna wrap twice because we can. Now we need ribbon scissors. There they are. And chop. Okay, put that down. Oh, pull this one over. Oh, we were gonna. I'm gonna play with that ship too. I've got or the ship, the sailboat. It's not a ship, people. I'll get slack for that if I do that. Okay, you ready? So I am gonna tie first on here a knot, and I will tell you why. In just a sec. Because I want to secure the little anchor to it, I find it way easier if I already have. Do. Do. Look at that. Okay, so if I've already got a knot to kind of work with. When's the retreat again? It is, Jacqueline, it is, I think it's, it's well, I think it, I know it is. It's the weekend of September 20th. Because it was kind of a little better bit timing for me this year than when I did it last year, which was the first weekend back after school, and I had to miss the first Friday of school. Try that one with your principal. It does not go over well. Uh, I know we're bad, and by the way, can I please have Friday off? Okay. So you ready here? I'm gonna just tie a bow. Now, oh, that bow is not pretty. I feel like I'm gonna play with how I knotted it. Oh, I know why this is so much more noticeable. It's because, okay, hang on. We might not be able to tie the knot below it, peeps. Just a sec. Um, because I used twine on my original. And so with the twine, you don't, it's not as thick. So I'm not gonna do another tie there. I think I'm gonna go straight into my bow. Okay, you ready? Foop. Whoops, come here, fat fingers. Are my fingers green, I should have checked that first. After I cut the lawn out, I somehow always end up looking a little bit like the uh, Incredible Hulk. I have a greeny hue to me. Okay, so I can't get that to, oh yeah, you could totally glue dot that down. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. We're gonna chop that off. Okay, so now we have to, you're gonna have to play with me here. Hello, Darcy. Now this one we're gonna stick on and he's just gonna kinda tuck in right here. Do you feel like that boat, should it be popped up or should we just leave it, I feel like he might be weird popped up. Okay, you guys decide, do we want the boat popped up or do we wanna leave him flat? I'm just gonna stick this on in the meantime. So I'm just taking this guy, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on him, not too close to the top because if I will have to tuck that boat under, if that's what you guys decide, then we need space. Okay, we're gonna take this and 
around. We're going to tuck it right onto there. Okay, your stem still waiting for you to decide. I'm going to ask Susan if she would like to go. Oh, Jacqueline, that would be amazing. Come. Oh, I would love that. And the weather's still good then. So that's why I do it in, in September because then I'm not worried about the weather on the roads. And you don't have to have snow tires and it's all perfect. Okay, so here we go. Well, I really tied that tight because I could see where I kind of gimped the paper. Flat, pop it up, flat, pop it up. Okay, you guys are screwing with me. Popped up, popped up, pop. Okay, popped up wins. Debbie, I'm sorry. Debbie's like, hey, you asked for my opinion. I know I asked for your opinion, but you gotta vote it, girl. Pop it up. Let's see, and then Brenda's still going pop it up too. Okay, we're popping it up. Okay, just a second. I should have done this first. Get your card folded. And then take this. Ta -ta. There we go. Okay, now what do we do with the boat? There it is. Okay, so we need just, I only need one dimensional of this. And then I'll show you the other version. Okay. You gotta tuck this because you really gotta line it up. If you're gonna pop it up, he's gotta match. There we go, peeps. I'll beg, I love it. There we go. Okay, so super fun card. Just a second, I'll show you another version. So this is super cute too. Just a different one of the designer series papers. Notice I changed up. I had the anchor in the middle on this one and the boat was kind of hidden in the background. The only reason I wanted to bring the boat forward was I thought that if I was going to be able to kind of pop it up, I wanted him there. The other thing you'll notice, look at this one, I just used my linen thread. This one that coordinates, I don't know, it makes it pop a little bit more. Now it's got Sahara sand in it, so you could actually play with it. I think a Sahara sand card base would look gorgeous on that one too, versus just a uh, whisper white, okay? Anyway, my dears, Kayla, hang on. Now we have to go and do our special because it's Monday. And we have to make Monday special because Mondays aren't always so special, except when it's the summer. Hello, little brother. I should bring my brother online. Okay, he's with my parents. What did you say, Joe? Again. Again, yes, I should bring my brother online. Again. Here we go. So, in your catalog, peeps, this is on page 145. It's Come Sail Away is the name of the suite. Now, you can get everything on this whole stinking page for $130, and that includes like a high seas embossing folder, the designer series paper, the memories and more cards. You name it, it's in it. Or you can flip over here, check this out. And then on this page, we do have um, the die and stamp set. Just a second, where's the little? There it is. Stealing Home Bundle. You could pop the anchor in the middle. You totally could. So the Sailing Home Bundle is $69.25. Okay, so here's the cool part. $69.25. Now, if you paid attention to me at the beginning, which I know nobody ever does, but $69.25 means you'd already get one of those um, $6 off coupons that you can use next month. And then check this out. I am going to give you a free package. Look at the value here, guys. $11. I'm gonna give you an $11 package of the Sail Away Trinkets, okay? So it's got 20 pieces in it, 10 anchors, 10 of the, you know, wheelie, wheelie, drivey, drivey things. Shake, 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 shake. Um, yes, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com. I'm gonna pull this up. You wanna use this host code that you see in the picture if you're not placing an order over $200. If your order's over $200, do not use the host code because you wanna get, um, you want to get your own freebies for like the workshop order, okay? But if you're just placing your, your smaller order and it's over 69 or about 69.25 for that set, use this host code and I will mail you out these. Anyway, my dears, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you later.